Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant, a founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to talk to you about one of my favorite online resources, which is ReadWriteThink.org. Now, they have a handful of great interactive resources, including the student interactive timeline. Now, if you go ahead and press Get Started, this timeline will pop up on your screen. And so what it does right here is it lets you put in the date, the time, events, however you want to sequence things. So maybe you have something that goes over the course of many days, over the course of one day, or just events you want to put in sequence. So we're going to write in here the American Revolution and we'll sequence some events um, that led up to the American Revolution. And we can go ahead and press start here. And so what it will let me do is it will let me tap anywhere on the timeline to add different items. So I can start anywhere. And so I can put a label here and then I can put my short description and a full description here. Now this is only going to appear when you print out or you click on the interactive timeline. It won't take up all of those um, pieces as well. Um, so when you think about the American Revolution and, and some of the events um, that led up to the American Revolution, let's put here the signing of the Declaration. Oops, I meant to put this in our short description. The signing of the Declaration of Independence. You can write a longer description. So you might put something about the who was there, um, where it happened, and add all those pieces below. And then your label's really gotta be short and sweet because it's gonna pop up um, right at the top. So you might put in the date for that. Um, you might put in something a little bit smaller like that. So let's go ahead and put um, 1776 and we'll put our July 4th right in front of it. And this is gonna preview for you what's going to show. So if you don't wanna put the date, you could always put something a little bit shorter and sweeter. You can add an image here if you want to, but you don't have to. And then you can go ahead and click and add it to the timeline. And you'll see if I end up putting a lot of events after this or before this, um, I can put this in here. We might put this all the way towards the end and have more of the pieces of that led up to this. Um, or we might place it there at the beginning and have that happen there. And when I click on here, you'll see that who and where pop up. So this is wonderful because it gives students the flexibility to move things around as they have a discussion, and it lets you a model for them on a big interactive whiteboard how to set up an interactive timeline.